today we are checking out this Lamborghini Huracan with Muhammad here. Yeah, this is a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan LP 610-4, an upgrade over the uh, the 580-2, uh, but not quite the uh, the Performante or the the newer Evos or the Technica that came out. But it's, uh, it's a pretty high trim level. Okay. Um, I got it specifically because uh, of the all-wheel drive package. Yeah, I'm just an all-wheel drive guy and uh, <laughs> just want to feel like I'm riding on rails anytime uh, I'm in an exotic, so yeah. That's... Yeah, I'm sure that, I mean, that helps a ton off the line. That makes a huge difference between oh, rear-wheel drive. absolutely, yeah. It's, it's got plenty of horsepower, plenty of torque, and uh, it's definitely the all-wheel drive to kind of put all that down. Nice. That kind of brings me to our next question. What is the horsepower, torque? What are the specs on it? Uh, the, the LP610 is supposed to stand for 610 horsepower, but factory, I believe, is about 604. Okay. Uh, if you noticed, uh, you'll see maybe in the video or before, it's got a Rift titanium exhaust, okay. uh, which is uh, supposed to add about 24, 25 horsepower and reduces about 47 pounds of weight. So this one's pushing out closer to about 625, almost 630 horsepower. Wow. Tell me about the engine besides the specs. What exactly is powering this thing? So this is a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10. Uh, no turbos, it's just straight raw power. It's something I've kind of been looking after ever ever since I've been in kind of turbo vehicles. I was in a 2017 NACA NSX. You had, you had turbos, uh, you had three electric motors, which was all amazing. Uh, but before these go extinct, I kind of wanted to get into uh, to naturally aspirated vehicles, especially a V10. Yeah. Uh, it screams. Uh, can't wait till you guys hear it. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty sweet. I know you just got it a couple months ago, but as far as modifications, you probably haven't done any yet, but are any, any modifications done to it besides the exhaust? Because I know you mentioned the exhaust. Yeah, no, it's a great question. Uh, it's a great question because I'm very much an OEM guy. Okay. Uh, I love to order my vehicles uh, the way I spec them from the dealership, and I pretty much keep things stock, keep things OEM. Uh, but this one, I didn't have that, that opportunity to, to do that. So this is a used vehicle, uh, but color spec wise and, and met my criteria, but modifications that have the, the full uh, Rift titanium exhaust, as I mentioned, which is awesome sounding, awesome for power. And those titanium tips look great, but uh, whoever owned it before also added a, uh, a three piece low pro profile spoiler uh, okay. that I wrapped in gloss black, kind of to match the wheels. And uh, that's pretty much it other than full PPF. So the car from, from end to end, it's got full PPF on it. So those are the only three modifications I don't plan on doing anymore. Sweet, fair enough. Is it an automatic with the option to shift paddle shifters? Yeah, it does. It's uh, I believe it's a seven speed dual clutch uh, transmission uh, okay. with, the, with the dual paddle shift. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. The shifts are super, super quick. I believe that the Aventadors and a couple of the other higher models, the V12s have the, uh, the single clutch, but the DCT makes all the difference when you're, when you're racing or cruising. It's just those quick shifts are, are unmatched. Yeah, that's sweet. Approximately how much would this car be valued at with its trim and everything? Oh man, awesome question. So yeah, this car uh, from, from the dealership OEM MSRP is 283000 uh, okay. But in addition to that, it's got some options on top of that, which are roughly about 38,000. So you're, you're in the 300 range. And then again, the full PPF, full titanium exhaust, and then the low profile spoiler. So you're, you're talking in the 320s, 330s altogether. But again, it's a used vehicle with super low miles, only 6,000 miles. So I got a, I got wow. a fantastic deal on the vehicle. So it's a lot of people's dream car. Has it been your dream car? And if so, are you just gonna stick with this now or are you working towards something else in the future still? Oh, always working towards something, something else. It is a dream to have this vehicle. I wouldn't say it's my dream vehicle um, only because I'm very invested in the experiences of having um, multiple exotics. Um, blessed to be able to, to get in a few every couple years. As I mentioned before, I had a 2017 Acura NSX, which was a lot of fun. Uh, our daily drivers are Porsches. Uh, this thing is, is amazing to drive, and I'd love to get in the 911 Turbo S, um, perhaps maybe in a McLaren or a, or a Ferrari down the road. But uh, it really is about the experiences of the vehicle. I have no emotional tie to one particular vehicle. Uh, I'd love to experience them all if I can. So yeah. that's the plan. Sweet, that's awesome. All right, well, can we take it up spin? I can't wait. All right. <laughs> factory what does Lamborghini say these do zero to 60 oh, it's, I've seen it all over the map I've seen 
2.7. I've seen 2.9. Okay. Um, it is somewhere in there. Okay. Wow. <laughs>
fun driving every time you get in the driver's seat? No, it is. Every, every time <laughs> it it's can fun. be addictive. Well, that was probably the best ride I've ever had in my life. Oh man, I appreciate that.